Dizien Dobri, Dober Dan, and Zdravo. Sticking with uh, Eastern Europe this morning. It's time to unform the Aircrete rocket stove. It has cured for just a week, well, plus a few days. And I think that's enough time for me to see how this material is going to perform with a little heat to it. Although, one thing, I meant to uh, spray some WD-40 on the forms before I put the Aircrete in to act as a release agent. And I forgot to do that. I think I was too excited to pour the concrete. Anyway, so we'll see how this comes out of the forms. I'm gonna start by unscrewing the foam. Oh. Well that was one wasn't what I wanted to happen. It's pretty brittle. Doesn't bode well for the rest of this form coming off without cracking. All right, I'm gonna see what I can salvage of this, but I think I'm back to the drawing board, at least in terms of thickness. I'm gonna go ahead and unform all of this just to see what I can salvage. Maybe there's some technique here to get this out in a, a way that's not destructive. However, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this needs to be thicker in order to work like I'd planned. Or maybe something like this, pouring slabs is just not the way to go with aircrete. But that's why we experiment. One interesting thing, in my form here where I had these saw cuts, the OSB has absorbed water and made that kind of bulge up. So I definitely need to avoid pieces that have saw cuts. That released pretty nicely. And it cracked. See if I can get this out without breaking it. Remember I got this screw in there. Now losing that corner wouldn't have been 100% disaster. Um, so that actually turned out okay. I think, I do think thickness is an issue here. I don't know, what do y'all think? That could be glued back together if I wanted to try and do something with that. One interesting observation here. This broke off where the screw stopped. And so I think that would at least tell me that an armature would help in terms of stability. And not necessarily extensive armature, even just one little piece of rebar, if you will, there in the form of a screw was enough to hold that together. So maybe some coat hanger in here or fence, something thin. So I pulled the long panel off. It came off the form very easily. However, just the slightest little pressure difference generated this crack. So I really think that at the half inch size, this stuff is just gonna be way too brittle. So I'm really curious about how my double thick base is going to hold up. So I'm gonna unform this and see how much better this is with strength. A little brittle along the edges, but this feels a lot more substantial. Definitely not any, I'm gonna put too much pressure on it, but it's not wanting to break. So, I think I'm going to retool, and instead of going with the slabs, I'm going to make bricks. At this, this height, 
so one inch thick and I think what I'm going to try and mimic is my fire brick rocket stove. So instead of the K type, I'm going to pivot here and make bricks to make an L type rocket stove. But before I do that, I am going to put this under some heat. I'm going to put this on top of one of my rocket stoves and see how this consistency, this material holds up to fire. All right, I got a thunderstorm coming in here. So I gotta move fast if I wanna get this test done before it rains. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it. This one just dropped out of the tree. I think I'll use it. Rain's falling. All right, too much. I didn't make it, but uh, fire's going. I think I'm gonna go throw the slab on it and see what happens. I bet you've never seen a rocket stove test like this. All right, the rain is mostly stopped. That's just coming off the trees. Let's try this again. I think I may still have some dry firewood down here. Committed to the process. Thanks to my cousin Rob for the bellows. Fire. Now that I got some consistent fire coming to the top here, I'm gonna put on the slab of aircrete. Which is now a little bit damp. Alright, the rain's starting again. But I want to get some kind of conclusion here on this test. I've got my laser thermometer and I just want to test the temperature underneath the aircrete and on top of the aircrete just to see what kind of insulation we're getting. Given the conditions, this won't be a conclusive test. Hundred and twenty four degrees. Four hundred and twenty-eight degrees. So this stuff is insulating very nicely. All right. So not your normal aircrete fire test, but I'm gonna call it here. I'm happy with the performance of this. I'm gonna let this stay like this till that burns out, just to see if the durability is affected at all. But I think what I am gonna do when I make my bricks is I'm gonna go and use two by fours. So one and a half inches deep instead of even just the inch here, which is doing pretty well. I think just having a little bit more structural rigidity would be a benefit. I'm going to make a rocket stove that is similar to this fire brick stove with my aircrete bricks. So I'll get some measurements off this. And I had to cut some bricks to do this, so I won't have to cut bricks since I'll be making bricks to size. As always, thank you to my patrons for helping make these videos possible. If you wanna join me over on Patreon, you can click on the link in the description. Got some extra content over there about the inner workings of my backyard here and how all of these projects work together as a system. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for a new Green Shorts DIY video almost every Saturday.